terms of movies pre-pandemic and returning to theatres gradually after the pandemic as content comes by. Now you may argue about your favourite directors, actors, the kind of stories that you like, the dialogue, screenplay, music, etc. But what you can't argue with are the number of people who go to the theatres. Basically, this. So, you would have read in the newspapers, all the social media about the collections of a movie. The devil, as always, lies in the details. What movie distributors and producers usually report are probably cross box office collections. Now, cross box office collections are basically nothing but the price of a ticket multiplied by the number of tickets sold. But that entire money does not belong to the makers of the movie. In fact, the cross box office collections actually have an element of tax in it. For tickets priced upwards of 100 rupees, it's an 18% GST, and tickets below 100 rupees, it is 12% GST. For simplicity, let's assume the tickets are all upwards of 100 rupees. So for a 100 rupee plus ticket, 18% is the government, and the remainder is known as net box office collection. It's the remainder 82, which is then shared equally between the distributor and the exhibitor of the movie. So of the 100, 18 is the government's, 41 is the distributors and 41 is the exhibitors. The longer the movie runs in the theatres, this 50-50 shift between the distributor and the exhibitor skews between the exhibitor. So what a distributor basically does is buys the movie from the producer to then showcase it in the theatres. Majority of the distributor's expenditure, as you would have imagined, is to acquire the movie from the producers. 80 to 85 percent of their expenditure comprises of that. The rest, 10 to 15 percent, can go into acquiring the prints of the movies and some local advertisement as well. So what this basically means is that 80 percent of the 41 percent which goes to the distributor eventually makes its way to the producer. One third of a movie ticket eventually makes it to the producer of the movie. Now let's talk about the producer of the film. The producer is the most important cog in the wheel of filmmaking, the reason for the film to be made. For a producer's expenditure, 30 to 50% typically goes towards the talent of the movie. Talent is your and my favourite actors, increasingly some star directors, etc. as well. 40% goes into the actual shooting of the movie, the production of the movie. And the remaining 10% is reserved for post-production, editing, graphics, visual effects, etc. Remember, these are just ballpark numbers, they're dynamic and they keep changing depending on the kind of the movie. So depending on the budget of the film, publicity and marketing accounts for nearly 50 to 100% of the total production cost of the movie over and above, of course, the production cost that we just spoke about. So what this basically means is that for a movie to actually break even, the gross box office collections should be 4 to 5 times of its overall production cost. But it's not all that difficult to make money on movies these days because costs are being minimized and revenue streams are being diversified as well. Producers are now turning distributors, saving them that 10 to 15 percent of additional cost and also exposing them to the risk of the way the movie performs in the box office. Actors are waiving their fees off for a share in the eventual collections of the movie. So that saves the producer 40 to 50 percent of the upfront costs. Actors are turning producers and increasingly producers and distributors are tying up in a way that distributors get some territories whereas the producers keep some territories for themselves, diversifying both the risk and return of the film. As far as the revenues are concerned, around 60 percent of the movie's revenues come in from theatrical uh, revenues. but 30 to 35 percent come in from TV rights and more increasingly OTT rights as well. The remainder 5 to 10 percent comes in from the sale of music rights, merchandise and all the other ways in which a film can make money. Let's get back to this ticket. Remember the 41 percent that I said belongs to exhibitors or the theatres, right? But that's not the only money that they make. In fact, a third of their revenue actually comes in from the popcorn and cola, food and beverages that you and I have at the theatre. Another 8 to 10 percent also comes in from advertising in the movies, before the movie and during the interval. And increasingly, 2 to 5 percent also has been coming in from other channels like convenience fees, etc. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the anatomy of the ticket.